Okay, uh, hello. Uh, well, uh, this is Rani Ahmed with you, and uh, this is a set of uh, lessons about uh, like the uh, ILO uh, little computer, embedded computer inside the HP servers, which uh, can help you on monitoring the server's health and also uh, boot the system or shut it down or uh, uh, even uh, boot from any CD-ROM or uh, floppy disk or whatever that you, uh, you'd like to do, okay, to boot and install uh, different systems from. Now, uh, here my system is already configured. This is a production system, by the way, but uh, this uh, server is not, uh, doesn't have so much uh, pressure on it, okay? There's not much load on it. Okay, so I can use it now uh, and they are barely using it okay so uh, I'm gonna use it as an example it's not open online to the world okay it's just the website and things like that okay but the but the website is not that more much like uh, being on, in use anyway but I'm just gonna use the, the server just an example because I don't have any uh, other example to do uh, or any sample computer to just to uh, show you I okay because you know servers are expensive okay now uh, I'm gonna uh, just do for the purpose of administ yeah uh, for the purpose of explanation uh, this page that you're now seeing okay uh, is have uh, has uh, an IP of course and this is the IP of your ILO and in your ILO you will have like a port inside like your uh, you have a port network port named ILO forgot about the number here there's a port uh, called ILO is connected to your network okay it has to be the same sub subnet of your uh, subnet IPs of your network okay and of course here I'm not talking to uh, newbies I'm talking to professional people okay who doesn't know how to use uh, ILO exactly okay or correctly okay or haven't seen ILO yet okay but they know computers of course, of course and networking things like that so it's like a guide for them so uh, you connect it to the port that has a label called ILO okay and so this is only for HP servers okay not any other kind of servers okay then uh, you will have a username or password uh, that's written on your uh, the label of uh, like your HPE server label like let me see if there's somebody who has a HPE uh, server label Yeah, things like this, like this, this is this one. I have something similar to this one, this one. See this one, okay? So uh, there's a uh, there's a default password that's already set inside the machine, okay? Okay, so uh, some label like that on top your, of your uh, HP, uh, so this is for hard disks. Okay, now, uh, HP server. Uh, product number label I have something similar to this I'm, I'm sure okay because I cannot gonna move to you to the uh, yes something like maybe yeah this one see this one this is it see the password here this is for the ILO okay now you use that one if you're on the first time of uh, its usage but of course you must have an IP for the machine so therefore I'm gonna explain to you how to uh, access uh, the settings for the ILO from the BIOS but here I'm not I don't have a can I did not set a camera so I can uh, give you a live view of it now it's there's a proper way uh, you'll see it now okay and you're gonna learn how to access your server uh, while you're sitting on your computer on your desk I mean the uh, administrator this is the default user pass username and I have made my own password I changed it, of course okay now what you're gonna do is just do uh, Java web start this is just to uh, run your uh, remote console okay you must have installed uh, Java okay <sighs> And uh, it's, uh, I prefer that you use Java uh, version 8. They don't depend on the newer uh, versions of Java like uh, 9 and, uh, and newer. Okay, so still uh, keep on eight, uh, version 8 yet. Okay, until now. Tell you for very sure that uh, newer versions will work. Now, here it, it will show you the machine.
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how exactly this is my Linux system. This is actually working. Okay. But I'm going to reboot just to go to the BIOS. Okay. See, I'm going to show you the BIOS while the uh, like uh, unlike what you usually uh, do with Team Viewer, and uh, you're going to see the BIOS and Team Viewer on any desk. Once you reboot the system, you need somebody else to open. Uh, uh, any desk and show you the desktop only you can't see the BIOS this is this is the uh, like uh, the good thing about ILO okay so you can see everything it's like you have your own screen inside the screen of your uh, uh, of your operating system you see you see without uh, further ado you know so I'm gonna restart the machine normally restart We're gonna now search for uh, exactly in the BIOS where uh, is the ILO setting for uh, the the IP uh, of the ILO port, okay? And you can walk normally, okay, as if you are sitting inside, uh, like in front of your machine physically, okay? Now, I think you'll hear the fans of my server, okay, see, yep, so you're hearing the fans of the server, so now, see the changes, now you're seeing the BIOS, okay, of the system, okay, I'm gonna quickly uh, look here at the bottom side and just find the IP, uh, the BIOS uh, key, okay, I think it's F10, as far as I remember, we'll see. So it's unlike an, a normal PC, okay? ILO will show you the BIOS as it's like, this is the good thing. You can remotely con control the server and uh, configure it. See, this is the ILO port that I, ILO IP I've uh, set, but now I'm gonna make something else. Now it's, uh, it's uh, F9, F9. Okay, go to F9, see, F9, to do system utilities. See, this is system configuration. We go to system configuration and we go to ILO4, see we can use the keys uh, up and down, ILO4 configuration utility. Okay, and we go to uh, our network options, I think, yes. And you set the IP address over here by pressing enter and sending it. Okay, so like this, and this is it. Yeah, and that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, just, and uh, I'm gonna press escape just to go back. And if you wanna save, just press F10. Everything is here, it's clear to you. Okay. And use all uh, the arrow keys and uh, etc. Okay, of course you, you. It's better that you put the SCP off. Okay, because uh, uh, this is like a uh, ILO is a server by itself. You must know its IP. You know must know where it is. So gonna escape now. Escape, escape, escape. Uh, press Enter to exit and resume normal boot. Yes. Press Enter to exit and resume normal boot. Okay. And it will boot to my Linux machine. Okay. So uh, this is the first uh, step: uh, is to set the IP of your ILO uh, machine. Okay. And you see, because uh, the ID is blinking, the blue uh, uh, LED. You see the blue LED, which one I'm talking about. Uh, UID LED. As I give you pictures, see here that you'll see behind the machine, okay, from the parts. Let's see, this is a UID. See, okay. So you see an LED turned on, 
okay which will show you it should tell you this is the machine that you are really working on if you have so many okay uh, uh, and uh, you want to know which machine has trouble just turn the UID in it okay so this is now the UID indicator okay and there's a key for it in, in front of your server so if you wanna if you have the rack or the shelves okay or the closet of all servers okay you just click it okay press it and it will turn on the, the UID from the back and it will uh, and you can turn back okay so I don't uh, get lost to, to know where that server which server uh, from which server okay so um, now the machine uh, has turned on okay I don't have to log in to my Linux because okay, so the server is working now um, so this is all about setting the uh, IP of your ILO. I'm going to the next video and I'm going to show you how to make an SSH login to your Smash uh, uh, CLI command line where you can control this uh, ILO from a command line. Okay, and later on the later stages, we're going to show you how to use uh, scripting so you can manage uh, like. Uh, like 100 or 50 computers like at once okay and even i'm going to show you how to boot uh, the cdrom and iso images okay thanks for watching please subscribe uh, click so many likes please uh, just for uh, so many administrators you can see this it's very important it's really there on uh, youtube okay thanks for watching bye